Where can you get hundreds of price cuts? Check out at Tesco. A 15 and three quarter ounce can of Heinz baked beans. 12 and a half P. Check out at Tesco. A large can of ideal evaporated milk. 15 and a half P. An Irish centre mid that plays for RC Lens in Liga Nuba Eats that rivals the stats of Hallett. 150,000 coins. <laughs> Check out a Tesco. Boys, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you, boys. This is just what you look like when you've got a hundred degree fever and your chest is literally and your head feels like it's literally about to explode. I don't know how I'm doing an epi right now, boys, but smash like on the video if you think this is a good look. What's up, boys, and welcome to the 86 League and Player of the Month, Seko Fafana, aka the Irish Hullet that is right. He is 1.0 away. He's one shooting point away from being in club Hullet, which means a player that has all 80 on his base stats. Comes in at around 150, 160,000 coins, depending on the console that you're on. And for that reason, the community is sort of a little bit split on this one. He seems like he's super, uh, I don't want to say super expensive, but it seems like he's overpriced. Uh, but he does look like a pretty damn crazy card. And I thought today, you know, being that I'm feeling like an absolute trash bag, you know why not fire up why not fire up FIFA and do a cheeky epi for the boys uh, and celebrate uh, this uh, this absolute Irish wonder interestingly enough he's never logged a start for the Irish national team which is one of the I mean if you look at his card stats I mean like I know we evaluate most players based on how they look in FIFA in terms of pace you know that's why we don't you know a lot of people don't give Tony Cruz the respect in real life because he's got like 13 pace but um, you know now that he's getting himself a crazy card maybe the Irish national team is going to give him some consideration uh, and try to figure a figure out a way for at least to have them travel with them, you know, at least to travel to, you know, international competitions and stuff. Speaking of, the World Cup every two years? Yeah, no thanks. But anyway, boys, if you guys do enjoy the epis, smash like on the episode. If you guys think that he does look like the Irish Hullet, smash like on the episode. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. So, apologies for the energy being weird a little bit. Apologies for my voice being a little bit strange. Uh, just not feeling well at all. Got to test it is negative. Uh, it is negative for the cove, so don't have that. It's just a really nasty flu that I've had since Monday, and uh, flu season is hitting hard, boys. So make sure to remember: drink your celery juice, drink your juices, uh, and, and build that damn immune system. But um, let's just dive right into it, boys. So he comes with three star skill moves, four star weak foot, high high, six one. Again, the price pretty damn crazy. But then look at the stats: goes up to ninety one acceleration, ninety four sprint speed with the shadow, has eighty six shot power, eighty seven long shots with really nice attacking positioning with seventy six uh, finishing which is we're going to actually implement him as a uh, as a box to box here passing stats 86 long pass 92 short passing 85 vision curve could be a little bit better but 72 is adequate uh and then the dribbling stats i mean this is where it gets really serious 81 agility 87 ball control with 85 dribbling 85 composure 87 reactions defensive stats goes up to 99 with the shadow goes up to what is that 83 defensive awareness which is the one thing we're going to pay attention to because defensive awareness in my opinion is one of the most important stats so as a true box to box at least in the midfield if there was a center back I would be a little bit concerned with the 78 defending awareness, but as a midfielder, we're going to see if that uh, plays any part. So 99 interceptions, 99 standing tackle goes up to, what is that, 99 slide tackle as well with that cheeky 87 stamina, the 88 strength, and then the 83 uh, uh, the 83 aggression as well. No real traits to speak of, um, and uh, does have himself an 82 rated card that goes for about 11 or 12k. Can't really compare this one to that one though, this is massive, massive... <coughs> This is massively, massively jacked off over that card. Uh, now, the question is, what are some other cards in Liga that you could try to use? There's that Aurelian Chumeni, who is uh, 24k, but that is minus 100 total in-game stud upgrade, so I don't think you can totally compare him uh, apples to apples for Fofana. Fofana, I think, is definitely an upgrade. You've got that Andre uh, Road to the Knockouts. Um, we've got, who else do we have? We have Wijnaldum, who's about 3k. I've seen that one floating around a little bit as a reason to not do this SPC. So it looks like on Xbox, it's coming in around 170k. Looks like on PlayStation, it's coming in around 100 50 that is not cheap by any means but if you are running a league and squad or if you're running a full ireland squad i suppose you could figure out a way to wiggle them in and it's kind of fun getting a little bit creative with the squad right we got the denier in there we've got the triore we've got the bamba we got the jonathan david who i haven't tried yet who i'm looking forward to and then we've also got ourselves that cheeky paulo dibala but uh we're gonna get into a couple matches here we're gonna see if this fofana is worth it we're gonna see how he plays on the pitch we're gonna see how he feels agility wise and i'm gonna pay particular particular attention to that 78 defensive awareness and see if that is uh somewhat of a liability going into uh going into i believe division four division five rivals match number one alice is that him right there oh dude look at Seko Fafano, why you gotta go ahead and do something like that? 
Seco freaking Fofana. Why you gotta go ahead and do something like that, man? You don't, you're not supposed to make those. You don't have the finesse shot trait. Seco, we get it. You're a serious card, all right? The, the main thing that I'm gonna pay attention to is how he moves, how he moves as a big, as a big card. Right, I want I want to pay attention to how he moves inside the box with the uh, with the L2 with the L2 jockeying. Okay, so so far. What is that? A little bit scared. All right, let's see what that pace looks like. All right, I mean he looks he looks pretty rapid. Nice little send into uh, nice little send into Paulo, Paulo de Bala. That's my bad. Fofana with the nice little with the nice little uh, with the nice little interception and challenge. Let's see, all right, Fofana, nice little send in. Jonathan David. Does he want to kinda... Man like Seko Fofana likes making those runs too. I mean, high, high, that's not surprising. The 86 attacking positioning as well. But um, so far, Seko Fofana's... I mean, like, I don't think there's any... De I don't think anyone is debating that the Seko Fofana isn't a good card. I think the one thing that we're wrestling with right now is... Uh, is he worth 150k? Ah. He's got that 76, he's got the 76 finishing as well. Uh, the Seco, the Seco Fafana Naruto run. Okay, I'm not paying attention to the game because there's a penalty right now. Batista are about to take a pen. Let Borja Iglesias score this, please. Go, Batiste! Oh my god, dude. I can't even pay attention, man. Yo, Denier is an absolute unit, dude. Jonathan David. And he makes the runs, too. What are we... Are we is that a... Wait, is that halftime or is that full-time? I'm pretty sure that's half, no? The only negative I'd say about the card is he feels a little bit... A little clunky. I mean, you would expect that with a player... You kind of would, uh, uh, you would kind of expect that with a player of his, uh, of his, like, uh, is girth the right word to use? I'm not sure what I'm trying to say here, but, like, of his build feels a little bit heavy. That's the only thing I'd say so far in terms of negative. Jonathan Bamba. Ooh! Whoa! Sickle Fafana, go on, lad! All the way, dude, that play started all the way in midfield. I, dude, I was so impressed by that. I was so impressed by that. I forgot to do the uh, the cheeky Naruto run. Yo, Seko Fofana, man, coming in. Obviously got that weak foot as well. Seko Fofana coming in hot. Still don't know how to play these. Traore. Seco with the, see, the, the, the nice thing about Seco is he's got that crazy strength. Jonathan David, we gotta have that, my guy. That's why you got the double featured team of the week. You gotta be able to bang, gotta be able to bang those in. Seco Fofana still in the mix. Do you know who we? Do you know who we used to score the last goal? Chiki Paulo Dybala. A Chiki Paulo Dybala. It doesn't matter. The weak foot does not matter, boys. The three-star weak foot. I can tell you right now, it does not matter. I don't know if that was with the left or the right. I'm pretty sure that was with the right. <coughs> oh man, dude. Oh, what a save! What a save, Lopez. What a cheeky. What a cheeky save from Lopez, boys. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you, boys. I'm, I'm literally about to pass out. I don't think I can even do two. I don't even think I can do two matches in this. It, it, I don't think I can do two matches. Um, no. Do I think that this guy's on my level? No. I, I think I probably. This guy wiggles are. See, the moment you open your mouth, the moment you open your mouth and you start thinking that you're better than you actually are, you, you actually are, you concede something like that. Do we have, do we have a moment of magic left in us from either Jonathan David or, uh, or, or Seko Fofana? I don't love that. 
He wasn't even looking at the net. His Inaki Williams wasn't even looking at the net. Is this guy just like playing with me, bro? That's 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 81, bro. No shot. Let's go, bro. Seko Fofana with the equalizer. Doing the Naruto run to the back of the net. Yo, as a box-to-box, -box, this guy is cracked. As a box-to-box, -box, the Seko Fofana is cracked. He's got... I'll tell you what he's got. He's got crazy speed going forward. He doesn't have good lateral agility. I feel like I'm analyzing a guy for the NFL Combine. He doesn't have incredible lateral agility. And one thing that I was not expecting going into this match was getting a freaking Hattie with Seko Fofana. Dribble success rate, 88% dribble success rate. Let's see what he did defending-wise. Defending-wise... No sliding tackles one, had one interception, really didn't even ask him, uh, standing tackle, sorry, four standing tackles, uh, two standing tackles one, didn't even ask him to do that much, but pretty much delivered in every metric that you could consider. In terms of overpriced, I don't know, man, he's got crazy stats, you do get four packs, you do get uh, four tradable packs back, that is that that is something that must be said. For fair value, I think maybe 130,000 coins, maybe 120, 130,000, who knows, I mean, the market is dipped, so... The market has crashed quite heavily, so the fact that it's 150, 165, 170k in this crashed market state uh, leaves me a little bit concerned, makes me scared that maybe it could actually go up in price. But I think the fair value for this SPC is about maybe 135, maybe 125 between the two consoles. Uh, so for that reason, I can't give it anything more. Uh, I can't give it anything more than the 3 out of 5. It is a crack card, a really, really good box-to-box, -box, has all the stats that you'd want in the key areas, didn't find that the defensive awareness was too, uh, was too much of an issue. In terms of on-the-pitch performance, I gotta give him a 4 out of 5. Uh, the, again, the one thing that really surprised me was his ability to finish inside the box. Uh, didn't miss, pretty much didn't miss anything. Was able to take uh, distance bangers. Obviously, you would expect that with 86 long shots, uh, and has a nice bit of shot power on him as well, which is another reason why I think we were able to convert uh, on some of those uh, some of those shots that we took inside the box. He's got some uh, pretty decent shot power, and you don't really even need to put a chem style on him to get the shooting stats jacked off to a point where you feel like you could use him as a box to box. So that is my opinion on the card. I don't think he's a must do by any means. You can link him into Kessie and link him into a set. Yeah, squad. Uh, but uh, outside of that, I don't think there's really too much else to say about the card. A very, very spicy card, a really cool card, and a unique card. Um, and uh, like I said, almost club 80, which is a little bit disappointing. I wish he had that 80 shooting just for the just ju just for the uh, just for the optics and just for the visuals. Uh, but as it stands right now, I don't think you should rush to do this SBC. He's there for 30 days, which is kind of a dub. So if you want the card, you can slowly grind to him. Question is, what are the card? What's what's the card meta going to look like a month from now? What's it going to look like two weeks from now if we have like a crazy promo? But uh, the fact that he's there for 30 days. I think that's pretty damn decent. Um, I just think he's very expensive. So, you know, for those of you guys that want him, for those of you guys that want the best, of, uh, the best box to box in, in Le Gun, you're going to go with, uh, you're, you're going to go with Fafana. And if not, I mean, a Wijnaldum obviously is three star three, um, 3,000 coins, uh, but uh, is lacking, uh, is definitely lacking compared to this uh, Fofana card in terms of Opinus. But that's going to do it for the episode, you boys. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Smash like on the Epi if you did. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I'm going to take a little nap before, hopefully, tonight's stream. Again, 50-50 on the stream tonight. But uh, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the Epi, and I'll catch you guys for another one tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.